Hello dear students, today we are going to perform the experiment of vinegar with baking soda. Right in front of you is the word equation of vinegar with baking soda. When vinegar reacts with baking soda, the products formed are sodium acetate, water and carbon dioxide. Vinegar and baking soda act as reactants. So let us see how we can perform this very simple experiment very safely and easily at home. All we need is a bottle containing vinegar. You must be familiar with this bottle which comes in the market by the brand name Tops. Vinegar has formula CH3COOH and it is also known as acetic acid. Next we need is baking soda. It is a white colored powder which is also used in the baking industry and at home you may have prepared cake with your mothers or your father at home using the same baking soda which we are going to use for our experiment today. Baking soda has a formula sodium bicarbonate sorry its, it's chemical name is sodium bicarbonate and its formula is NaHCO3. I have taken around two spoons of baking soda using measuring using this spoon. The next thing that we need is a measuring cylinder or a measuring beaker. This is the beaker that I am going to use for measure. measuring vinegar. You can even use something of this sort if you do not have something, anything to measure. We get a measuring cup along with medicine bottles. So you can even use this for measuring vinegar. The next we need is an, an empty transparent bottle. Why we need a transparent bottle? Because that will help you to notice and see whatever is happening inside the reaction. You may even use a bottle like this which is available in the market if you have already had some milk or any juices. A juice bottle is small. Juice bottle is around 100 ml bottle which you can use for the simple experiment. Next that we need is a balloon. You can use any colored balloon and finally a funnel. The reason for using a funnel is that it will help us to add baking soda to the balloon very easily. So let's begin our experiment. So let's take the transparent bottle. Now in the transparent bottle, I am going to add vinegar. If you can just see, I, I have taken around 25 ml. If you can just note the value here, it's around 25 ml of vinegar. So it's pre-measured, so I'm going to add this to the transparent bottle. Slowly add it very carefully to the transparent bottle. Now after adding this, we need to take the balloon and place the funnel on top of the balloon. Then I'm going to add baking soda. I'm going to add baking soda to the funnel and put it in the balloon. I'm going to add all of it, the entire baking soda in the funnel. So you can even put it straight away without using a spoon. We can straight away also put it without using the spoon. We can put the whole of it inside it. So now if you can see here, it has become a little heavy. Now remove, gently remove the funnel from the balloon keep the funnel aside keep the funnel and everything else aside now place the open the balloon and place it very carefully on the rim of the bottle as you can see here very carefully now once you have placed it now here we are ready to go for our experiment you will slowly invert the balloon and baking soda will enter the bottle. So the moment it is added to it, you can see that it is getting, the balloon is getting inflated and you can see bubbling happen inside the bottle. Let's sh show you with a close up. So if you can see here, there is bubbling inside the bottle. Now the balloon has inflated. This is clearly showing us that some gas is being formed in the reaction. And the gas formed here is carbon dioxide. So for you all to know clearly what the reaction is, 
in molecular or chemical form this is the reaction that is happening so if you were to write a chemical or a molecular equation for the same it is the reaction of acetic acid which is vinegar CH3COOH plus NaHCO3 which is nothing but baking soda baking soda is actually a common name it is also known as commonly known as in every household as khane wala soda so the other name for it the chemical name for it is sodium bicarbonate once the two of them react the product formed is sodium acetate water and carbon dioxide now if you look very clearly in the bottle the ingredients of the bottle ingredients of the bottle you can very clearly see that there is liquid some liquid is formed that liquid is nothing but water some amount of sodium acetate has settled at the bottom though sodium acetate is very much soluble in water ideally all salts of sodium are soluble in water so probably it takes a little bit of time for it to dissolve in water but gradually it is going to dissolve and what is formed here inside the balloon inside the balloon what you look here right at the top is nothing but the carbon dioxide gas collected so i hope you all will be able to perform this experiment very easily going step by step and following what we have shown you here in the experiment so good luck children try it out at home